Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to have a look at one of the editor, in particular the piano roll editor. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside Logic Pro for iPad on an iPad Pro M1. Let's create a project. Let's select tracks like so and let's click on MIDI and we have a standard MIDI track and if we enable play surface we can hear notes being played okay so if you click somewhere on the track it will give you the option to create a MIDI region a pattern region and create a drama region as well let's start with creating a MIDI region as you can see that is the region um, there and let's set also a plain loop, something like that, for two measure. And let's also extend uh, the MIDI region. We have trim enabled, so we can click on the boundary and then extend it. Now, if I click on the region to select and then click again, it will give me an option to edit and then it will say show in editor. If I click on it, it will open up the piano roll. Okay, editor. You can also reach this clicking here on this uh, icon here, which is this pencil here to edit. Click again like that. Click again to close it. Okay, let's have a look at what we can do from a piano roll perspective. So, we have the standard view here where you can uh, actually create notes, etc. as I will show you in a moment. We have an automation view, which I will explain in another tutorial. So let's go back to the standard view. And um, here you have the um, keyboard where you can um, click and uh, preview, really, notes. You can also use uh, touch control to move up and down the keyboard so you can reach higher and lower register. Now. At the moment, if I click somewhere on the editor, the only thing it will do is give me some selection to select uh, overlapped notes or muted notes, which I will explain later. And that's because we are in trim mode. So let's click on this pencil here. And as we have clicked on the pencil, now we can start to create notes like that. You click and you create notes. If you click again on the same note, you make it disappear. Uh, or you delete it, click and hold, and then you can actually move it like so. Click and hold on the boundaries, and then you can extend the length of that particular note. And then next time you press again to create a note, it will remember the previous length, as you can see, like that. So we can create a number of notes, oops, like so, okay? The um next uh, um is a brush so you can uh, uh, click and hold and you can start to brush away a uh, note okay and then if you click also and hold on some of the notes you can actually remove them as well okay so that's nice and uh, handy to actually see and use the next one is interesting is for velocity so you click on the note and then you move up and down to change the velocity. You also have a number showing you the velocity as well. As you can see under velocity, you have an option to multi-select. Of course, you can still do lasso as well if you like. Under the brush, uh, no more option. Under the pencil, you have uh, this uh, copy. And the way it works is um, you can click copy and then uh, click and hold, move the note, and you copy right so that's uh, really nice or what you can also do is uh, click and uh, hold and then you use another finger and then you can move quickly to copy uh, one particular note and that is a momentary copy um, which is really nice it works really really well in trim mode you have multi-select here so like so and then of course you have copy again Okay, it works really nicely. So let's undo again. So let's have a look at the three uh, dots here. 
Here you can select to show the notes label. You can see that there are notes on uh, labels on each of the notes. You can also deactivate that and say set note color by region. The region at the moment has this green color or by velocity. Or you can do it um, by MIDI channel as well. And that's quite nice in terms of reminding you what uh, you're working with. So it's really nice. Next, we have an option uh, which says uh, um, catch play head. Okay. So at the moment, it's set in automatic, which means that it will follow. If I play, the, this is the play head, it will follow. At the moment, it's set as a cycle. So let's play with other cycle. So it will follow, right? the playhead. However, if I have that set to off and I play again, you don't have that automatic scroll. It doesn't follow the playhead. Something as well, which is quite useful when the playhead is not visible on the screen. Again, if you go to the three dot and you can say catch now, it will go to the uh, playhead position and that is available only when the playhead is actually not active on the screen. I should, I should say not visible on the screen. Of course, you can still do uh, um, here positioning of the playhead as you will do here on the track editors and also you can select uh, here um, refined uh, looping which is really nice in terms of working at that uh, finer um, level. But let's reset these to um, two bars. You also have option for snapping, snapping to grid, automatic, normal, small triplets, and all triplets as well. And I will do a more in-depth tutorial on snapping and also quantizing, which is coming next. Now, let me show you a couple of other things. Select all, we'll select all the different notes. Click again to the select. Let's click on one to select the note. I'm in trim mode, otherwise it will not work. I, I forgot to mention that you need to be in trim mode. Click again, and um, actually, let's select that note. Click again, and then let's go to select, and it will give you the option to invert the selection, which is really nice, right? Then click again, let's go to select, and then it says select all following. You can see it is selected all the notes that follow these, and that would work also if you have additional notes. Let's put some notes there. Let's go to back to trim, click this note, click again, and then select uh, uh, select the following, which works really nicely, doesn't it? So now uh, you can delete notes like that, right? Okay, perfect. Now let me show you uh, something else as well. Let's say that uh, I create a couple of more notes like that. And uh, at this point, I go to back to trim, I click somewhere and I say select over, overlapped notes and it will show you this one and that one which are overlapping that and that, which is in vertical mode. Now, let me move these notes like so, slightly offset this one and let's go and select again overlapped notes, okay? And again, show you that one and that one which are overlapping, right? Which is... Uh, um, really nice, works um, quite nicely. Now, there is also an additional option which says select muted notes. So let's say that I want, um, I'm going to do multi-select for this note and this one, okay? And then I'm going to the inspector here. Then I'm going to scroll down, make sure the details uh, uh, section is open and I can select mute. You can see now the notes have changed color to this gray. Now, if I click outside again and I say selected muted notes, it will select only these notes. Now, why is this useful? Because if you click play at the moment, those two notes will not play. And you can use those almost like ghost notes or phantom notes to remind you of a different version, for example, of a melody. And of course, you click again on the mute option to uh, disable those notes from being muted as well okay so other things let's click again on a note click again you can force a legato which means one note will stop 
will we'll start exactly when the other one stop, which uh, is really nice. You can also uh, this one actually is quite good. Let me let me show let me remove some notes uh, so it, it is clear as I explain it. Go back to trim. Now let's select mm -hmm. that particular note. Click again. Let's say select and then say select select same supposition. So this is one measure. This is the second one. It will select the uh, same one which is on the same bit like so. So for example, if we if I say um, multi select those two notes. And then I go back to trimming and I select that node, select again, and then select the same supposition. You can see I have selected alternating nodes, which is really nice. Okay, then other option you have select um, based on same articulation. I will explain what articulation um, is in a future tutorial as I need to introduce other concepts so I'll come back to this then let's say that uh, I move this one up and this actually I tell you what let's go back here and let's select that and this one and then uh, click here select um, same supposition and then on trimming mode move this up like so and then I select this one again, select this one again, select, select same pitch. And we'll select only the one which have the same pitch. Again, really, really nice, rich in features. That is why it's pro. Let's have a look at another option. So um, we have articulation. We can change the articulation, but I will explain that, as I said, in the upcoming tutorial. You can transpose an octave up as well an octave down, which is, again, really really useful you can remove opal overlaps which is nice you can delete a note and then you can cut and copy okay individual notes as you wish okay so that is an introduction to the piano roll editor i hope you enjoy and find it found it useful as always see you next time bye